In this video, we'll use app volumes to package the Notepad++ application. We'll create an application object in App Volumes Manager, point to the machine we plan to use for packaging, and then go to that machine and install Notepad++. The process is not going to be really any more complicated than that. To do this exercise, you need to have installed and configured App Volumes Manager and also set up a packaging machine. As I said, we're going to package Notepad++, so download a couple of versions of Notepad++, preferably onto a file share. The reason I say two versions is in a later video, I'll show you how easy it is to deploy a new version. Uh, so here I am on the packaging machine. I've downloaded two versions of Notepad++. Go to the Inventory Applications tab and click Create because the application object can include multiple app packages which have various versions. We don't use a version number in the application name, so I'll name it Notepad++. And make sure the Create a Package checkbox is selected and click Create. and confirm. And now we'll create a package for this specific version of Notepad++. I've got a couple of versions here, so I'll create a package for Notepad++ 7. The storage path and template fields already show the defaults I configured when I set up App Volumes Manager, and they're okay. For delivery method, we'll use On Demand. That means that the packaged application will only be delivered when an assigned end user opens the application shortcut on the virtual desktop or the virtual desktop start menu. Click create and in the confirmation box, leave it set to perform in the background and create. Now the new application appears in the list. Click the packages tab and click the package name. The status says unpackaged right now. Click package. To find the packaging computer, type in some of its name and click search. When it appears in the list, click the radio button for it and click package. In the confirmation box, click start packaging. And now we'll go to the packaging machine. You can use vSphere client or RDP to log into the OS using an account that has administrator permissions. See that there's now this little box that says packaging is in progress. Don't click anything in that box until after installing the application. Right click the installer and run as administrator. Okay. Next, I agree. Next, next, install. All right, and finish. I don't want to download the update now. And now in the start menu, we have Notepad++. Now go back to the little window. We're done installing the application. So click OK. Installation complete. Yes. And then click finalize. And now it wants to restart. OK. So after the machine reboots, log in again so that you can verify that this little box appears and says packaging was successful. Yay! Click OK. And now you can go back into App Volumes Manager and go to the Inventory and Packages tab and see that the status for the Notepad++ package says it's enabled. Down at the bottom of the page, you see Notepad++ in the Programs list. The program is the executable and actual bits that were captured during the packaging process. The name and version number are captured automatically. So for example, even if you gave the package name the XYZ version 1, the program name would be Notepad++. And there's a lot more information on this page, including the activity log. One more thing we need to do is scroll back up to the top and click Set Current, and then confirm that we want to set this package as the current version of the Notepad++ application to deliver to end users. And see that the current label now appears next to the package name. This current marker will come into play in a later video when we create a package for a later version and want to deploy it as the current version.